Hey game fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and this time it is uh, Infinity's Code 1 Operation Black Win and this was the pre-order set that came out probably about six months ago. Um, this had a couple of bonuses so I was quick to snatch it up when it was available. I just now I'm getting around to it because I just uh, am finishing up the first, um, what do you call it, tutorial set that, that came out before it was Oper uh, not Operation Black Wind, but uh, was it Crimson Stone, I believe? I, I don't know. It had the Nomads and uh, like the other, it's like the, <laughs> the <laughs> what do you call it, the, the, the werewolf uh, Irish dudes that were pretty cool. Um, but that was, that was awesome. So it definitely uh, scratched my itch for some cyberpunk miniatures and I wanted some more. So... I was quick to pick this one up when it was available, and now I'm finally getting around to uh, opening it, pulling it out of my pile of shame. So uh, it actually came with an extra figure, so they got a little sticker on there if you pre-ordered it. Um, you got that, and you also got, at the time, I want to say these were two, uh, the two extra pre-order bonuses, which were pretty cool. Um, the Dire Foes and Helen of Troy. Uh, an exclusive uh, event exclusive edition so pretty neat we'll open that too um, but yeah so looks like uh, you got some uh, Middle Eastern flavored assassins against uh, some some half half robot Borg boys so that's pretty cool um, so that's Operation uh, Black one on the side symbol of the two factions in the battle pack and then all of the uh, the figures and the terrain that you get inside of the box it says the scope of the secret research at darpan xeno station could endanger the whole human sphere for that reason the steel phalanx the best troops of Aleph are responsible for guarding the Xenotechnology Research Facility pr to prevent its secrets from falling into the wrong hands. However, to Hakwalisam, <laughs> is that how you say it? Hakwalisam? Hakwalislam? Uh, Hakwalislam? <laughs> the best way to protect the fate of, human, uh, of humankind is to know every secret that can threaten the sphere. And it's... Uh, assassin operatives can inf uh, infiltrate anywhere, no matter who crosses the path. Tonight, a silent but deadly black wind will allow uh, will blow across the Darpan Zeno Station. So, uh, looks like you get uh, a hot quality slam. <laughs> That's not how you say it. A faction, the Aleph faction, and then all the stuff you need to play the game. So, uh, it's pretty heavy. Feels jam packed, but it's just like the other one. Uh, it's full of goodies, so um, I was really impressed with that uh, the starter that I had picked up already, and I'm not one to have too many uh, armies, so um, if they look cool, I will I will give them a shot. Um, I, I just love um, painting some new figures, something that's different flavored from Games Workshop, because I do a lot of Games Workshop stuff, so anytime I can change it up a little bit, it's always a nice uh, change of base. All right, this brick of a box is not, it's not coming out, apparently. Okay, there it goes. Something, something gay. All right, so, let's move that aside. And then, is it taped? Nope, just a tightly bound box. And it looks like we got starter rules. So introductory booklet. So probably, probably the same stuff I learned in the other starter. But you know, whatever. Cool. And um, something that they do differently than um, pretty much every miniature company today is they got metal miniatures, which um, they <laughs> they are something else to paint. I haven't. Uh, I've been painting just some of the extras I bought of the. Um, some other infinity stuff that I bought and it's uh you know it's it's taking me back I haven't painted metal in a while and um I love the feel of metal but it is a little bit more work than some of the resin it doesn't go on as smooth sometimes and uh it's gonna do a little more work but that's it 
Um, I do like that you come with different colored dice for each faction. You got some yellow and some white. They're, they're even a little custom. Like I want to say it's the, the 20s have um, the custom symbols of whatever so whatever faction you're playing. I think so. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, so what does this say? It just says quality control. And then it's all the bits. They got everything separated. So if something's missing, you got a... Uh, you got a number there, and I think that's how you could get your replacement parts if if you were missing anything. I don't think I've, I've missed anything from any of the stuff I've opened from uh, Infinity so far. So, um, no one jinxed it, but uh, that was, you know, it's been a pretty good experience, everything about it. Um, learning to play the game was uh, kind of fun, learning with somebody else at the same time, just going mission by mission. Felt like it, it unfolded. Um, fairly uh fairly easily um like if you just played it mission by mission you learn you learn what you need to learn each game and it was uh not too bad i want to say maybe i looked up a couple of things online throughout but never uh, never looking too long um but yeah each of these looks like there's a there's a couple more fiddly bits than i want to say some of the other ones that i've uh, assembled for the most part i want to say they were fairly easy assemblies that I've done for the stuff that I've that I put together already not too many moving parts but these look like there are a bag uh, bags of moving parts let me just pop this guy open just so you can see maybe give you a closer look as to what was in here but yeah so there's a bit of flash that I'm gonna have to clean off need a hobby knife but the um the detail is really nice with um these uh, these miniatures they've all they're all the ones that i've dealt with so far have been very highly detailed so they're um they're not the easiest to paint but they they do paint up well so there is that um let's take a look at the rule book see if there's anything that um See if these are missions are are the same as the ones that I learned in the first starter that I grabbed. But um, let me tell you, it um, me and my buddy were hooked. We really enjoyed everything about it. Uh, the way the you always felt like you're doing something. It's there's no downtime in the game. The what is it? The AROs were on defense, kind of like Overwatch. You just always always have something to do. Um, it looks like we got a full color book here, so that's that's pretty nice. Let's see. I get to the first page. It's it's like stuck together. Here we go. Okay, Operation Blackwind looks like cycling to the same piece of art, and it's a little write up. Then got colored photo of the miniatures that I I'm assuming are in the box. It's pretty cool. The troops, and then you got a color guide if you want to change them up a little bit. So that's pretty neat. Um, and then the Aleph troops. They look like they got a bit of a Roman aesthetic of some sort, maybe. Pretty cool, cyberpunk like Roman uh, robots. So not too, not too bad. And then couple of different colors there and operation black wind looks like we got um got some fluff so that's cool i feel like the i don't know the fluff in the first uh the first one that i read wasn't well it gave you something but it wasn't it, it was a little bit dry to be honest all right so we got breeze perimeter area is the first mission and is it just letting you use a couple of guys um yeah so unit profiles yeah i think so then it's got all the rules so the first mission is giving you pretty much all the basic rules on how to play they uh they don't go in too deep 
on anything and it just sets you up um yeah side ones you get three was it de Lamis, and then three thoracatis thoracatis and um close combat 15 bs 11 for dilamis and 17 close combat for the Thoracotis and 12 BS. So the Aleph's are a little a little bit better in the combat, but pretty cool. Then it's got your basic weapons. Then it's got your map layout. So I thought everything about it was pretty slick. Um, playing through the missions, you really did get like a couple new powers and a couple new rules each each mission. And then it, it, uh, the more you played, then you got access to more guys. And it's, it just was really sweet the way it just unfolded, I felt. Um, and got me excited to just learn more about the world. So, um, yeah, can't can't knock that. Anything that just sucks you in. I, um, I downloaded the rules, the full rules for this and the full rules for uh, the uh, was the N4 game, which... Looks like it's a bit a bit chunkier, but I would definitely want to play a lot more Code One before I jump into the N4. Um, but yeah, a pretty neat. I like that. I do like that it's got like colored uh, pictures, colored art of the weapons and the bios of the weapons. So that's pretty cool. The stats for the weapons. Um, nice, nice piece of art of our pictures of. The miniatures all painted up. Five missions, it looks like. And then how to expand your forces. Pretty nice. Um, then all the profiles of all the troops that are in the in the box. So not too bad. Uh, the beginner's how to. How to clean up your miniature, prime it and paint it. Um, that's always welcome if you if you're new to it and want to say some of the other factions and what you can be looking forward to um, if you're collecting them. So that's uh, pretty uh, pretty good. Then this also comes with this is a cool like terrain pack. So it looks like you get a couple buildings, the same as before, and probably some billboards and, um, what do you call it, uh, a, a mat to play on. So let's take a look real quick. So everything you need, tokens, uh, it's got you covered. It's, it's a really thorough, really good starter. Um, if there was anything I, I could uh, critique, it's maybe, um, maybe a heavier duty map to play on and maybe it could be double-sided those are two things i would have uh, enjoyed but you know uh better than not having one so let's see it says sadar panzino station scenery pack and basically it's all the stuff that's in there and got the map let's flip this open yeah it's only single-sided white on one side and then big enough to play um, the missions that are provided in in the book so this one looks like it's got it's a little bit different I like the uh, the other one uh, it was all red this one looks like it's got some grass on the field so you know play ball um, anyways We got, these are the uh, terrain, the punch board terrain, which um, pretty sturdy. I, I gotta say, I just assembled it. I don't, even, I don't even think I used glue. I just kind of popped them together and um, that was it. Like I've been transporting them, just throw them in my car, took them to work. I've been playing on my lunches here or there with my buddy and uh, they, uh, they hold up pretty good. Maybe if I did use glue, I probably, I think I, maybe I used some Elmer's. It wasn't anything too uh, crazy. But yeah, here's all the all the chits. It's got a couple of rulers. I really like that. Came with two rulers, even though they're just cardboard. It's still better than nothing. Um, 
these volume markers so you can for terrain purposes to see if somebody can can see you how tall your characters are i thought that was a pretty neat idea um all of your action tokens which um come in handy that's not uh not bad at all stuff like camo so when uh later in the missions in the in the first set i played it introduced camouflage and um just that was pretty neat the, that that uh, ability where just hide in plain sight and then people can take turns to try and spot you and then then if you do spot you you get shot up <laughs> it's pretty cool the double-sided billboards i thought those are pretty uh, pretty flavorful what is on here mind uh mind score beyond expectations and bash our velocity racing in our blood so yeah they just give you some flavor um of the world that you're playing in but just by these ads these in in-game ads and some more some more buildings double-sided buildings pretty cool depending on which side you build it on it looks different than the other um so you get a couple different loadouts of buildings uh pretty pretty neat it says alert on this side looks like you got some digital displays so yeah um very cool um i can even use this stuff in like shadow run or something if i wanted to wanted to or cyberpunk uh 2020 rpgs so or red whatever um i also got the dire foes i want to say um it's three figure set and then you can um i want to say there's missions online if you download the infinity army building app like uh or on the website one or the other so we get additional missions on for the uh, extra characters that you get in these boxes um so that's really neat i uh i like the tutorial missions but i'm really looking forward to play some of the other narrative missions if i can get this out of the box geez there we go <laughs> thing was in there it's in there really good part of his belly name of the company that makes them um i got nothing nothing but uh good things to say because uh everything i've uh messed around with for for these guys has been pretty top notch so the rules have been uh pretty tight for the most part there's uh, i'd say there's a couple of things that i was re rereading when looking online afterwards i like, got uh, for the way um what was it just a couple of things with the dice rolling for combat just had to look it up but wasn't nothing too hard but yeah this guy is i can i can tell he's really detailed um and he should be uh Fun to paint. I like the way this hacker chick looks. She uh, got a hoodie on, her, her jacket, and the stuff looks like it's right out of like Mass Effect or something along those lines. Um, the Expanse, so pretty, uh, pretty neat. And I think this is the medic. It's awesome. Uh, I kind of wish they had a like a little insert in these packs with a new mission to play just right in here. But um, I guess you just download it and uh, then you have it. But you know, would have been nice. But every all everything, uh, all the resources are online and they're free. So if you want to just look at the rules, you can, and that's really nice. Uh, but yeah, just download them to my tablet and as often. Off to the reading. So this was Helena Troy. And this was an exclusive figure. Um, yeah. I don't know what the other exclusive figure. Sorry, I didn't really, couldn't tell which one it was. But the other exclusive figure that came in the box um, for pre-ordering was Pandora. And uh, just cool looking figure. Um, but Helena Troy, another another um what do you call it uh is her, bo is her body not in here oh no it's two separate pieces okay 
I was like, man, finally, finally got something to complain about. But her body was packed by itself, apparently. Um, not in a baggie or anything like that. And then this is just like her head and some arms and stuff. So, um, and what are these called again? These are, what's the name for them? What is it? Uh, they're not soldiers or anything like that. Uh, it's HVT or, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, good fixture. Yeah, HVT. That's correct. So, kind of like NPC characters that uh, do stuff during the mission. So, it's pretty neat. Anyways, um, I'm excited to assemble all this, paint it up, and uh, get some more games of Infinity uh, Code 1 in. And hopefully I graduate to Infinity N4 eventually. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I got nothing but good things to say about it. Uh, I guess Gen Con's going on right now, and there's some, some new stuff released. So, get into Infinity... Um, while it's available and it's it's good um and not really that bad i want to say hundred dollars will get you in and you get a ton of stuff um it's the core box alone i think is, is worth that so anyways thanks for watching like subscribe leave a comment let me know if you play infinity um how long you've been playing for when what uh what what other games you play what brought you into it and um is it your favorite or is it just something you play alongside the other stuff that you play? I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I haven't really gone to play with anybody other than my friends. So, um, you know, but it's a good game. So, anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.